This potion I have in hand is the invisibility potion, and boy is this one cool. So just tap the ground with this potion, and you will become invisible! What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition mod review. Today I'll be reviewing the Pocket Potions mod by Dark Flames. It's an awesome mod, it basically adds, well, a ton of potions into Minecraft Pocket Edition. I do want to thank Rage Elixir, I, I believe he was the first YouTuber to actually review this mod. So shout out to him, let's go ahead and jump right into this review. Once you install this mod, you're going to have to add in the potions themselves. To do this, all you gotta do is open up too many items, pocket inverted or something like that, and add the IDs. Uh, go to item IDs and do 407, add that, and then do 407, 408, 409, all the way up to 431. And that will give you, not 4,431, just 431. And those numbers will give you all of the potions within this mod. Now that that's out of the way, let's get cracking onto the first potion. So the first potion is the wither potion. Now you have to eat these potions, kind of weird, you eat the bottle and all, but the effects do work and it will grant you whatever effect correlates with each potion. So here we go, this is the wither potion. <coughs> So I just ate the Wither Potion, as you guys can see, now I have the Wither 1 effect. Uh, the Wither effect does damage, and it also blocks off your hearts so you can't really see them. It basically, it makes it really hard to tell how many hearts you have left, and it takes off half a heart of damage every two seconds. So it's very, very deadly, um, you gotta watch out. Let's go to the next one. This one is Haste 2, I believe. Yes, the Haste 2 potion. The Haste 2 potion, just like the regular Haste potion, allows you to break blocks a lot faster. So that's that, very simple. And then of course, after that, we have the regular Haste potion, which will just add on to the Haste that we already had. So that's not really important at all. This Lime Green potion is the Leaping potion, which will give you a nice Jump Boost 2 effect. So you'll be able to jump a little bit higher uh, with every bounce. So for example, if I put this and I make this a two block high jump, come on now, there we go. We can simply jump on top, which is definitely not possible without this awesome potion. It's like a hops booster potion. Really, really cool. We'll double up on the effects here. This next potion is the strength potion. Um, this one basically just increases the damage of all of your melee attacks. I'm not sure if it's going to show, but it does do a little bit of increasing on your attacks. It's really hard to tell, but um, it does give you a better bonus and a bigger advantage in any any melee combat, so that's really cool. And of course, you can stack all these, and that one is an eight minute long potion. Perfect for any duel. This next potion is the poison potion. Really cool, basically it just gives you poison. So it's not necessarily the best to have <laughs> on yourself, but it's good um, to give your enemies as a prank. But this potion two, or poison two potion, is a lot deadlier than the regular poison. And um, it doesn't hurt you though, it doesn't, well it does hurt you, it doesn't kill you all the way, just like the other potion. Um, it just takes you down to one half heart and then you're left to die by any other means. This next potion is the Regeneration Potion. Just like it sounds, it's going to give you a lot of regen really, really fast. This one's great for recovering after fights or recovering during the middle of fights. This is Regeneration 2. There are There is a, a little bit of a weaker one in here. I'm not sure exactly where is it. This one? That's, this one is Regeneration 3, so that will give you a little bit more Regeneration. And then this one must be Regeneration 1. There we go. So that's the regular Regeneration Potion right there. This potion I have in hand is the Invisibility Potion, and boy is this one cool. So just tap the ground with this potion, and you will become invisible! You'll no longer be able to see yourself. It is absolutely ridiculous. You're just a walking, a walking nothing with some particle effects coming out of you from the other potions. <laughs> But, I mean, this is just ridiculous. You can't see yourself. You can sneak up on your friends, uh, attack them. Everything is really awesome. And also, if you hold something out in your hand, you could just see the floating block. Yeah, it's <laughs> just a floating block. So it's really, really cool. Look at me, the invisible man with regeneration. Not too bad at all, thanks to these lovely potions. This next potion is actually really, really cool as well. It's the water breathing potion, like you can see right there. Um, and what you do is you go underwater. As you can see, I'm going to run out of oxygen, right? Until I hit the water breathing potion, and then I will be able to breathe underwater 
for as long as it lasts. So, it's really, really good for going on underwater journeys. Maybe there's something you dropped at the bottom of a river. You can go swim down, grab this without even worrying about drowning. Next up, we have the slowness potion, which obviously just adds slowness to your character. It's really, really boring. It's got a nice uh, chain link ball kind of deal, the thing that they attach to people's ankles. It's got that kind of icon. It's really cool. It just slows you down, though, so it's not very good uh, for consuming yourself. This next one is the weakness potion. Now, just like the strength one, this affects your melee damage, but really, weakness just makes you a little bit weaker, so it decreases your melee damage by half, which is kind of ridiculous, so definitely don't be swallowing that down before a battle. This next potion is the resistance potion, which is actually really cool. It just basically reduces all incoming damage onto your player. So, if you're falling, getting hit, anything like that, it's going to reduce the damage that you take by 20%, which is really useful, like I said, for combat purposes. This next one is very cool as well. It is the Fire Resistance Potion. So basically, equip this, you'll get fire resistance, and once you walk into fire, you will take a little bit of resistance to the fire damage itself. As you can see, I'm not getting too hurt by it, but obviously staying in the fire is not always the best option. But once you're burning yourself, you're not going to take any damage. So it's really, really good in, in a pinch if you're in a little bit of a situation and you need some quick rescuing from some flames. Next up, we have the Life Potion. Eat this Life Potion and you will regenerate extremely fast. It's like the super golden apple. It's going to give you a huge health boost. You're going to have two rows of health and increased generation. So this one is one of the best potions out of all. Look at all these potion effects. This is so... <laughs> Look at all of them. That's ridiculous. I have so many! Alright, this next potion is the death potion. Kind of the opposite. You will get a pretty bad amount of poison, and this would kill you- Oh my gosh, look at all these effects! <laughs> this would normally kill you. But, um, as you can see, I have the health and the life potion- or the health and the death potion going around. So basically, I'm just a big mess right now. I'm just a huge mess. This is absolutely horrible! I'm gonna throw up! I'm gonna throw up! And now that that's over with, let's go ahead and do the next potion, the Nausea Potion, which will just give you nausea, which is a little bit of vibration to your screen, which looks absolutely hysterical. <laughs> Look at this. You literally can't see what you're doing. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, gee, uh, I hate this. It, it, this one really makes me want to throw up. This one does for sure. The next potion, a little bit less intrusive, is the Swiftness Potion. This will just give you a little bit of speed uh, to your step so you can get around faster um, and chase things down, follow things around, or just do whatever faster. Oh, look! There's a village over there! And I got here a lot faster because I have the Swiftness Potion. Not too bad at all. So yeah, those were all of the potions within the mod. Um, obviously I did skip around on a few because some of them are just higher levels than the other potions, but those are all the different effects you can get from the potions within the mod. So it's really, really cool. If you want to check out this mod, the download link will be in the description below. Unfortunately, there aren't any crafting recipes for the different, um, for the different potions as of yet, but maybe that will be added in the future you never know in any case hope you guys did enjoy this quick little mod review if you did please go drop a like below i'll talk to you all later and as always stay frosty my friends peace guys see ya bye bye